I know. We'll draw matches. Hmm? No, I don't trust your matches. We will toss for it. Play. <laughs> you forget, my dear. I know that, Colin. It's got two heads. <laughs> then. We will both sit in it. And if we go, we go together. My love. Nothing happened. It's all right. We worried for nothing. Oh, the poor things, we must help them. No, not now. You mean? That must be the one. Said that's all they were. Never mind that now. The next day. Come. Stop. Yes, uh, that was the voice of um, Michael Goff over the telephone there, playing the celestial toy maker. I love Dodo's outfit again. Doesn't she look amazing? Um, a little sort of O on her top and the hat. And Stephen's got a nice stripy jumper on. Not totally dissimilar to mine, I'll have you know. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a great story. The Celestial Toy Maker loved the sort of... Um, interplay between the king and queen of hearts there bit of a nasty end for them obviously dodo and stephen have got to play a series of games by the looks of it and the doctor's playing another game and they're trying to win back the tardis so they've obviously moved on to the next stage of that now uh, and sadly, only one episode from this story exists. I think that's episode four. This was from episode two, The Hall of Dolls. Um, but yes, yeah, such an imaginative and inventive story. Um, real genuine fun, this one, I think. Um, but not without its sinister, um, unnerving quality to it. There's something quite creepy, isn't there, about dolls and toys um, that uh, don't always do what one expects them to do. And it was a theme that was later taken up, you know, during um, John Pertwee's time where everyday objects suddenly become, you know, killers or, you know, not uh, quite how they should be. Um, but yeah, Really enjoyed that. Mm. And Michael Goff would, of course, come back in Arc of Infinity, I believe. And he was due to uh, replay the toy maker in The Nightmare Fair, which was planned for Colin Baker's missing season in the 1980s. Um, but yeah, really, really good stuff. 
And I believe he married Annika Wills. I can't remember or no, I'm not sure whether it was before or after this, probably after, um, who of course played um, the companion Polly. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed that.